in research to test the hypothesis we are using two type of tests one is parametric another one is non parametric test the statistical test that are carried out for estimating or testing hypothesis about one or more population parameters are called parametric test example t test z test and f test the statistical test do not depend on population parameters are called non parametric test example manwetni u test crossal valley test sign test and wilcoxon test today we are going to see about t test the t test the statistical test used to test the significance of difference between the means of two different samples or group is called as t test in 1998 ws gosat was first defined and applied this test his pen name was student hence this test is called as students t test criteria for apply t test i mean assumption for validity of t test the sample size should be small i mean less than 30 more than 30 so to apply z test the samples are randomly selected the observation are independent the samples taken from a normal population the population standard deviation should be unknown the data must be quantitative in nature then type of types of t test there are two types one is paired t test the test applied when pre test post test done on single group i mean one group pre test and post test that is paired t test if we have a two applied in two groups two different samples i mean some experimental group and control group that is unpaired t test formula for calculating t test value i mean x the t value equal to x1 bar minus x2 bar divided by standard error ac i mean x1 bar means mean of first group x2 bar mean mean of second group standard error mean standard means when more than one samples are drawn from a population there is a chance to uh, there is a deviation in standard deviation that is called a standard error i mean square root of variance is called a standard deviation the standard error the formula for standard error is square root of standard deviation 1 whole square divided by n1 plus standard deviation 2 whole square divided by n2 standard deviation 1 is standard deviation of first group so standard deviation 2 is standard deviation of second sample n1 is total number of participants in the first samples n2 means total number of participants in second samples i mean for an example sum health education was given to the 10 mothers regarding immunization the knowledge score of pre test and post test are as follows i mean pre test score 136 134 122 and so on post test score 120 124 126 and so on test whether there is any change in knowledge after health education here the sample is one group so one group pre test and post test so we have to apply paired t test so here we want to test the hypothesis there is no difference between pre and after knowledge of mother null hypothesis so alternate hypothesis there is a significant difference in pre and, and post test score of knowledge among mothers Here, single group with the pre-test process, the paired t-test. So, first we have to calculate the mean of pre-test. Formula for mean, sigma x by 1. So, x1 bar, so 136, summation of x1 bar is 1262 by 10. So, mean of pre-test is 126.2. So, mean of post-test, I mean x2 bar, 120, 124, the summation is sigma x2 is 
divided by 10, 124.4, I mean mean of post plus. Then we have to find out the standard error. For standard error, we have to know, find out the standard deviation 1 and standard deviation 2. Mean standard error formula is square root of standard deviation 1 divided by n1 plus standard deviation 2 whole square divided by n2. So we have to first we have to calculate the standard deviation of pre-test score. And pre-test score is there is a formula is sigma x minus sigma whole square divided by n square root. That is a summation of sigma uh, summation of x minus x bar whole square is 291.6 divided by n number of sample 10. So square root of 29.16. So SD1 is 5.4. Next calculate the standard deviation for post test. That is the same formula. Uh, there is a summation of x minus x bar square root of x minus x bar whole square divided by n. So summation of x minus x bar whole square is 158.4 divided by 15.84 almost 16. So square root of uh, 16 is 4. So the standard error uh, is so standard deviation 1 5.4 whole square divided by 10 plus standard deviation 2 4 4 square divided by 10. So 5.4 square is 29. 29 divided by 10 2.9 then 4 square 16. 16 plus uh, 16 divided by 10 is 1.6. So 2.9 plus 1.6 is 4.5. Square root of 4.5 is 2.12. Now we know the standard error 2.12. Then apply the t test value x1 bar 126.2, x2 bar 124.4. Standard error 2.12. So apply all these all these value. 126.2 minus 124.4 divided by 2.12. So the value is calculated value, T value is 0 0.85. Then to find the degrees of freedom. So degrees of freedom for paired sample, n minus 1. So I mean n, n means total number of participants, 10, single group. So 10 minus 1, 9. Refer tabulated value at a 9 degrees of freedom for 0 0.05 level of significance. All nursing related studies are done with the 0 0.05 level of significance. So here the degrees of freedom value for 9 degrees of freedom at 0 0.05 is 2.26. This is a table value. So calculative value is we already calculated as 0 0.85. Tabulated value at 9 degrees of freedom 2.26. So then so if the calculator value is less than the table value so accept the null hypothesis there is no difference in pre-test and post-test score of uh, knowledge among mothers if the calculator value t value is more than the table value you have to reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis here calculator value is 0 0.85 table value is 2.26 higher so you accept the null hypothesis there is no effective in health, health education, if we have a, a, a in, so then pay unpaired teachers, if we have a two groups, so two groups, the calculation is same, only things degrees of freedom. For unpaired teachers, we have two group, control group and experimental group. So degrees of freedom taken as a combined by two, I mean first group 10, second group 10, so 20. So 20 minus 1, 19 degrees of freedom. So calculate the value and the table value is to be checked with 19 degrees of freedom and then related with the calculated value and with this unpaired t-test. These are the t-tests in research and statistics. Thank you.